It's weird, huh? Just having me here. I feel like I'm shooting a video for my personal channel, but this is the new thing that we're trying out because since Jackson is in America and I'm in Iceland and we do not know for how long that will that will be because I don't know if I'm allowed to be in the States and Jackson cannot come here because he's he has a lot going on. He's in school and he's the president of this fraternity thing, so He's just got a lot of responsibilities and things that he needs to care of, take care of in America. So he can't be here um, to film anything with me. So we're going to try out this thing where I like film what I'm doing and he f will film what he's doing. I don't know how much he's going to be able to film, but I know I got a lot of time. So I'm at least going to be filming a lot. And um, definitely let me know like any ideas. I think I'm going to call this like series Disa Days or Disa Days or something um because it's just me and it's just what i'm doing so definitely let me know if you have any other suggestions or video ideas that you want me to do because i don't know i don't know what you guys like i've never really asked what you guys would want if it would just be me so comment that down below standing underneath the rows of trees I can see where the ocean meets the sky I figured since I've been working at the airport all summer and I'm going through this period right now or not just right now I've been doing it for two years now I've been trying to get like experience from as many job things as I can like I've worked at a kindergarten at a like with a desk like at an office and now I'm doing airport security and airport security is something that I never would have thought that I would be doing but since I travel a lot and I always hate the people that work at air airport security because they're so annoying and there's so many rules there's just like Bleh. and anyway and I feel like I don't know I wanted to do that because I like I said have never liked those people so I kind of wanted to get to know like their perspective and all that you know so I figured that I'd just give you guys a couple of hints about how you can improve your airport security experience. I don't know, to kind of make it better. Um, since since been since I've been working there, I've met a bunch of such such negative mean people. And I think it's because people don't really view airport security staff as people. They kind of just like associate it with like rules and mean and meh 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 and since it's not the police or any kind of authority you can be as rude as you want without really realizing that it's just a person like telling you what they're supposed to tell you and kind of just doing their job so i decided that i am going to show you and tell you why they do the things that they do and how to make your experience better like i said um, I've pl I've put down a couple of little like um, is this video super yellow? I don't know. I put down a couple of notes uh, that I wanted to tell you. So the first thing, when you go to the airport, just like your travel and everything around your travel, you should be prepared. You should prepare for your travels, but you should also pre prepare for the airport. So when you're packing, you should kind of think about okay. I don't really know their policies and their rules so I'm gonna think of everything that might be like that I might need to take out and whatever so if you can and if you do have a, a luggage like a what's it called like a big suitcase like if you have checked in luggage if you have a checked in luggage put all of your like if you have any knives if you have any like objects not if they're not even sharp like butter knives put that in your suitcase put all liquids and toiletries in your suitcase but one thing that you should not put in your suitcase is if you have a electronic cigarette like if you have a vape kind of thing do not put that in your suitcase because they'll um, most likely have to get you to take that out and you're gonna have to take that on board same thing if you have any kind of like um like gas that can't go in your big suitcase like don't put um like if you're going on a camping trip because a lot of people come to camp come to iceland for camping trips so a lot of people will have gas like leftover gas at their suitcase um but that can't be on your suitcase obviously you don't want to blow up any airplanes 
So you should take that and put that in your carry-on luggage uh, and you can take it with you if it's not over 100 milliliters at our airport. Obviously, all airports have different rules and that's another thing that I want to talk about. All airports have different rules, so do not come to an Icelandic airport and be like, well, this is not how they do it in Spain or this is not how they do it in America. You know, when I was in New York and I'm like, I'm not in New York right now, so, you know, please just do what I'm telling you. Um, anyway, so don't think that because you went to this one airport one time every airport is going to be like that because all airports have different rules and if you even went to that airport and then all of a sudden you're doing something different don't be like oh well last time i came here i didn't have to do that well they change the rules all the time so like Sometimes you're allowed to take liquids that are this size and then the next time you come, maybe you can't and that's just the rules. Um, and the airport staff that is working there, they are just following what their like um, supervisors or their bosses tell them. So it's not on them to change the stores, no, to change the... Um, to change the rules. Just like when you go to a grocery store, the cashier, cash, cashier doesn't have anything to do with the prices. They didn't pick the prices. They didn't decide the rules, you know? So it's basically just common sense. Um, next thing after, sorry, I went a little off track, but after you have, uh, like obviously come prepared, put, if you like have any little toiletries, put them all at the top of the suitcase, like have it all in the same place and all that. Um, and then next thing, I'm sorry, whew, I'm a little sick and it's hard to talk a lot. Next thing, read all the signs. When you get into the airport, usually they'll have signs all over to tell you what you should and shouldn't do and what you need to take off and what what to do, kind of, you know? Because a lot of people will stay in line and they'll ask the staff, like, do I take my shoes off? Do I need to take my laptop out? And that's fine. Obviously, like, ask as much as you can. But there also will be signs everywhere. So just read off of the sign and they will kind of tell you and let you know what you should do and shouldn't do. Um, next thing, when you get to the person, so usually at airports there will be like a station that you go to and that's where you like put your bag in a box and push it to the machine and then meet it at the other side. Um, usually there's a person right there to tell you and to help you like how to do everything. As soon as you get there, just ask them, what do you want me to take out? Like, how do you want me to do this? Does my computer come out? Does, you know, whatever. And they will just tell you, don't be, I know it's hard and um, it's, it's annoying, like I know it's annoying, I used to hate those people, but um, don't like get there and be like, I know, I know, I've been to an airport before. Because the person that's working there, they don't know that. It doesn't, it doesn't say anywhere what you have done and they meet like a thousand people a day, so they can't always know. Um, they can't always know like what you have done and if you know what to do if you've been to that airport before and they also don't know what language you speak so most of the time they'll initially start talking to you in english and if you're at your own airport like here in iceland i'll start talking to people in english because i'm speaking english 98 percent of the time um and then they'll be like i speak icelandic and i'm like okay <laughs> that's great um rather just be like because you can you can say it in such a mean way and after Working at an airport, you have 12 hour shifts, you're, you're talking and interacting with the most horrible people, rudest people all day. Um, and then just with the tiniest comment that you don't even mean for it to be like rude or anything, it will come off as so rude and it will just put more negative effect on that person's day. So instead of being like, I speak English or I speak Icelandic or whatever, just be like, do you speak English or do you speak Icelandic? I'm sorry, can we do this in blah blah language, you know, or whatever language? Um, <coughs> excuse me, because that will just make it so much like easier and more relaxed to talk to that person. All right, another thing, um, right when you get there and they tell you to take liquids out or your belt off or whatever it is, uh, don't start fighting with them. It won't really lead to anything except bad interactions like if somebody's like hey can you take your belt off and you answer with oh i didn't have to do that when i was in vegas okay <laughs> can you do it now you know it's like 
you're still gonna have to take your belt up no matter what because the person that's working there they're only there to help you go through security fast and easy and make the line go or flow or whatever and just have it done quick so just do what they say don't fight about it you don't have to be the bigger person or, or be like a know-it-all because it doesn't really matter you're gonna be talking with them for like two minutes and then it's done and then you will never see them again you know so just do whatever be nice go through quick easy get it over with because those people are literally just there to help you another thing um to do it more like eco-friendly because they will give you those like or not at all airports but some airports they will give you like a ziploc plastic bag to put everything in and it's a lot like imagine how many plastic ziploc bags they go through in a day it is a lot let me tell you and i hate giving it out to people because i'm always like because it's so bad for the environment and it's just it hurts me to be giving out ziploc bags but that's a part of my job description <laughs> like i have to give you a ziploc bag if you don't have one because all the liquids at our airport have to be in a plastic ziploc bag anyway to make this like more eco-friendly and better save your ziploc bag if they give you one just save it and you can use it next time if you don't think that you'll be able to save it or it will get lost or whatever you can just ask them to take it back and be like hey could you maybe like take it back and use it on the next person and they will happily just put it back in the drawer and uh use it on the next person because the bag is literally just in the box or in the tray that it goes through the machine in we'll go through the machine and then you'll take it out of your Ziploc bag and put it back in your purse or put it back in whatever it was. So the Ziploc bag and the Ziploc bag will go in the trash most of the time. So just give it back to the people and they can reuse it. Isn't that a great idea? I think it's a great idea because then, you know, it won't be as much of a hassle. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you. Um, so basically it was just be nice, don't be rude and do what they ask. Like most of the time, like that's how it is. Um, and another thing like people will ask like why am i doing this why do you need my shoes what is this why do all these people get to walk with their shoes on but i have to take mine off it's not the same rules that fall for everybody because it just depend depends on your shoes like if you have birkenstocks you have to take them off because there's the little like metal like thing in the um in the birkenstocks and it's a metal detector so you can't like bring your phone or anything that has like a chunk of metal like belts and stuff you can't bring that through it's kind of like common sense but um but that's all i had for you guys i just wanted to share my experience because before i started working at this airport like i said in the beginning of the video i hated those kinds of people that worked at the airport absolutely hated them could not stand it and i was always the rudest meanest person and now after working there i've i'm a, like a lot more zen or i'm a lot like chiller about it because i kind of understand it and that's exactly what i wanted out of this job because i wanted to see things from their perspective and now i absolutely have so i just wanted to let you guys know and show you like how you can make that experience better because going through security at airports is just a part of traveling that's just how it is that's just what you're gonna have to do and you do really want to travel which means you do really want to go through security in a sense you know it's a part of it it's not the most fun part of it but but it is a part of it nonetheless. Oh, there's Amy. Amy's our cat. I'm gonna let you let you see her. She's cute, she always comes by. I'm like super allergic to her, but Oh, she wants to come in. Jackson left. Amy. Hi. Oh. Hello. You can't come in. No, 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 no. Amy, no, you can't come in. No, no. No, no. Hi. She's really trying to get in here. No, you can't. Hello. No, you can't. Don't come in. Not right now, okay? Not right now, okay? Hi! Look how pretty she is. Oh. No, no. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to close the door then. I'm gonna have to close the door then. Oh, she doesn't like me. She does not like me at all. She likes Jackson. Do you miss Jackson? I do too, honey. I do too. Okay, let's close the door now. I'm gonna close the door. Yep. Okay, I have to admit, I do feel a little bad. She's the nicest little kitty cat. Kitty cat. Cat. She's a nice little cat. Um, <clears throat> but I'm so allergic to her. Like, I can't. I have to go wash my hands. Um, last time, I've talked about this before, but I get sick for like two days after I touch her. So, because she's so hairy. But Jackson does love her. And Jackson used to let her in. That's why she was so eager to come in here. Because she liked to just hang out and see what we were doing. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Like I said in the beginning, definitely let me know if you have any other ideas or suggestions or whatever about what I should film, um, or what you want to see. But, that's pretty much it. I feel like I need my own outro. I can't do our outro alone. Hope that you're having a good day, and I hope that you feel important because you are. Bye!